All right, that's a great tune by Curtis Fuller called A La Mode. And I've had it in my jazz library for about 10 years, and I forgot about it. Um, it's a great tune, a great opener. Uh, Curtis Fuller was the, the ghostwriter for Miles Davis. He did a lot of tunes for Miles. And that featured on trumpet, Mr. Jack Tur Turrell. <laughs>
next one because I don't. <laughs> Woo! Good morning. So, my whole thing about jazz is the kids need to know the entire swath of it. Uh, we sometimes pigeonhole ourselves into one genre of music, swing, 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 or Latin, 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 or pop funk, or Afro funk, or whatever. But in order to understand the genre of jazz, you need to experience all of it. So the five charts that we can have for tonight examine the entire swath of it. And it's really not the entire swath, but it's five really good areas. So the next piece we're going to play, and remind myself, Mr. Herbie Hancock turned 83 years old about a month ago. He was in town this past weekend and wowed the crowd at the Atlanta Jazz Festival. He created Cantaloupe Island back in 1963, and it's uh, considered one of our standards now. So we're going to break this out tonight and feature three more solos on this, but I'll tell you who they are in a second. Anybody heard of Cantaloupe Island before? We'll probably play it here, oh, I know that too. We hope you enjoy.
alive and still very much alive. So the piano player that sounds like he's 50 is Mr. Blake Dwelly. And he came with me. He is the All-State, uh, GMBA All-State Jazz Pianist for this 2022. <laughs> Thank you. 
good. Mr. I get this right. Ayan Rahman on the guitar. Thank you. 
music and email um, when Mr. Prado last week, I think, and uh, I worked with Mr. Prado for about two hours um, uh, one afternoon earlier this week, and you guys have what, Mark, five hours today? So these kids are just absolutely amazing. Give them one more round of applause. sat in with us. We appreciate you guys coming down. And I think all of you have figured out, you know, one of the things Mariano did the best was he didn't just teach notes and rhythms. He taught kids to love performing. And when I thought of somebody to do this honor band, that's the man I thought of. That's exactly what he does. Thank you, my friend. These guys are strike the set. We're going to get the Carrollton Jazz Orchestra out here. It'll take us about 10 15 minutes, and we will get you back going with some more music tonight. <laughs>